Hello guys, welcome back. Another day, another rag video, but this time with Llama Index. The earlier video, I have explained how you can do the multi-vector retriever for rag on tables plus text using Langchain and on structure. With and this this was for the PDF. If you are looking forward how to extract the information where there is a PDF and it contains the text as well as the tables. Please refer to this video. But in this uh, video, what I will be going to explain is how you can extract the information from the STM file. And in this case, I'm going to use the 10K filing of Tesla, which is .stm file, where as you can see here, there are many tables as well as the text information. So we will be asking some text questions as well as some questions related to the tables, meaning that it needs to extract the information from the tables. So you can just go through the Lama index documentation if you want. And there is the Tesla 10K report if you want to go in depth. But what we are going to do here is use the on structure to parse out the tables. And the Lama indexed, we use a recursive retrieval to index or retrieve tables if necessary. If you are new to in uh, on structure, you can just go to the website. It is the ETL for LLMs and this has been a powerful tool in order to extract information or parsing the uh, documents to get the information out of it where there are tables and other things. Just go through the website and explore when needed. But let's go through the high level how we are going to achieve this before we go to the code implementation part. So first we have the document here. Let's say that this is STM. What we do is we use the on is structured and that is partitioned into different elements. So when we have different elements, what we do now is for each element, we see if there is the table or not, right? If there is table, we just take that into the data frame. If not, then it will be added into the base nodes. In Lama index, we have nodes just to give you a high level info about that. What we do is we convert those into the data frames as you can see here. And after that, what we do for each of those tables, we create two nodes. As you can see here, there is table node as well as the index node. And one table node that contains the data frame as a string. So as you can see here, this one contains the data frame as a string. And the next one, uh, another index node that is stores the summary of that table. Remember, this is the most interesting part here. We just create the summary of that table, as you can see here, summary index, and a reference to the table node. This is quite fascinating when I went through the documentation also, because we are creating the content, let's say summary of the table, and we are referencing that to the table node. And as you can see here, that is the node mapping for table nodes. And we provide this information into the recursive retriever to get the information. This index node then is, and we add that into the base node. So in base node, we have the information of the index node as well as from the ones where we don't have the tables. And then that is, used to create the vector retriever and there is the vector retriever. And the good part here is when you, you extract the information, if there is no need of the tables, you can directly query the vector retriever and get the information. But if you want the information also from the table, then as you see here, the node mapping is passed into the recursive retriever. So it gets the information from there. I will show you in the code how this is achieved. But this is the high level information what we are going to achieve in this particular video. Let's get started. Okay, first thing first, we need to install Lama index, of course, because we are using the Lama index. This code will install the Lama index. And then we do the data extraction. So here I'm just extracting 2020 and 2021, but we are just going to go through the 2021 report. So these two lines of code is going to extract the data. I'm just using the documentation from the Lama Index website. So this Dropbox, this is where the report is being stored. So once we run these two lines of code, you can see here we have the two information. So here is 2020 and 2021. Once that is done, what we do is we just import the flat reader from 
llama index reader.file.flatreader because we need to read that as tm files and that is what it is doing here so we have the docs 2021 and 2020 i'm just going to go through 2021 as i showed you before but if you create the flat reader object here and then we are using the load data and we are providing that path if you run this code as it is this should work fine but you need to be careful where you store the data let's say you are storing somewhere else you need to provide that path here so once that is done as i said you before now we are going to create the parser later and that is what it does extract tables from the data and convert into data frames create two nodes and so on and for that we need to install the only structured and lxml that is what we need to do this line of code does that exactly what i just mentioned yeah after that what we do is we create the own structured element node parser from llama index you just import this and then just create this here that's all what you need to do so what is the next we now next we partition the nodes using the built-in function of the only structured parser that's it and one thing that you need to be careful here is base nodes contain the regular nodes and the index nodes not the table nodes i showed you in the figure also up here this is the base nodes and there is the index nodes which is referring to the table nodes and that is mapped into the recursive retriever right this is quite fascinating I, I was going through it and i find it okay this is how they are implemented and this is really good because okay let's before continuing what i want to show you is i'm exploring llama index and langchain simultaneously and it's good for us because both of these frameworks are doing good research and we can use any of those we are not restricted to uh, only one in order to do our task right what we do here is first get the api key just go to this link and get the api key and replace over here your api key with the with your api key then when you run the code now we can use the open ai models out of it and here we are just doing this thing here where i'm creating the pickle file if it is not created and i'm dumping that as you can see here there is this node parser dot get nodes from the documents this is the main function which is extracting all the informations from this docs 2021 that we did and it is parsing it so it took around how many minutes 17 minutes for me to achieve this based on your internet and whatever reason behind the scenes it will take some time to uh, retrieve the information or let's say that it takes some time to create this raw nodes 2021 so once that is done we can play around with this now so as you can see here with the we now have the base nodes and the node mappings we do that from uh, the node parser dot get base nodes and mappings and uh, we just pass the raw nodes 2021 with we just created here we have now the base nodes and the node mappings and here this is just the normal things this is just from here i'm just duplicating this because i was just doing some random things here i can delete this it's needed and if you see here there is uh, 105 nodes here so and what is the type the node mappings is a dictionary and if you see here i'm just rendering how it looks like there this is how it looks like this node mapping as i said you before also there is node mapping which is a dictionary which has the id as well as the table node right so that is what it is shown here this is the dictionary and as you can see here this is the id here and there is the text node here that is how it is being stored and there is this base node which is a list and there is 249 of those once you do this i'm just printing here how it looks like you can just play around with this and there are some index nodes and there are some text nodes so this is just for the displaying purpose what we do now is we set up the recursive retriever right here i'm just importing necessary modules and we create the vector index that's what we do we have this vector store index from llama index retrievers and we pass that base nodes right and then we create the vector retriever and this is just the vector index dot as a retriever and we are retrieving this here and as i said you before also we can already without creating the recursive retriever which i'm showing in the diagram 
this recursive retriever, we can get the information already from the vector retriever also if there is no table information, right? So that is the reason why here, let me go here. Here I'm saying that, okay, vector query engine, I'm creating already a query engine from the vector index. So this is the vector index as query engine and similarity top k means I just want the top k equal to one. With this one, we can already query that database. And that is one part. And the next part is we are creating the recursive retriever. The first argument is the ID of the recursion root. This is the retriever. So this is what we are passing here. And the second one is a dictionary containing all the retrievers. This is what I'm passing here. And as you can see here, now there is just the node mapping things being passed in the recursive retriever. So that now it has the information of the tables also. And yeah, we just create the query engine out of it. And after you create the query engine, we can just ask the question into it. This piece of code is doing all the things for us where it is mapping all those vector retriever as well as the node map. So yeah, once that is done, we can ask the questions now. So a simple question here is what was the revenue in 2020? So as you can see, what is the revenue in 2020? Meaning that I'm asking some numbers here, meaning that it maybe have stored in the table somewhere. So it needs to retrieve the information for us. Here it is saying a retrieved node with ID entering. And as you can see here, it already specify us that from ID 478 table, it is getting the information. And the answer is the revenue in 2020 was 31.536 million. So that is getting the information for us. And this is using the query engine, meaning that it is using the retrieval query engine. Let me ask now the same question without the retriever query engine. And if I ask the question with the vector query engine, it says that the revenue in 2020 was recorded in the column label 2020 and is of type number because it cannot get the information because it does not contain that node mapping. It was before one step where it contains the node mapping. So it does not get the information from here. And that's another question also here, I'm asking what was, the, what were the total cash flow in 2021? So as you can see here, it goes through the table things and it provides the information here. The total cash flow in 2021 is 11.497 million. If I ask the same question now without the query engine here, it just says that, okay, you know, it does not find the information and it is stored somewhere, right? And as you can see here, you can also have the metadata. What is the metadata showing here? So it shows that it is extracted from the tables. This is with the table things. Now let's just ask with the normal rag that I used to show before, where you just ask the information random, where it does not need to go through the table part. So we can just say, what are the risk factors for Tesla, right? So it can go through the chunks or the nodes in this case and get the information for us. I'm just asking it from this first with the query engine because I want to test with both of that. And the answer here is, okay, the risk factors for Tesla includes this, 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 this. It is providing us the natural language format answer. And there is no numbers here because it's explaining something. Okay, what are the risk factors? As you can see here, the response to metadata is now the node ID here. It's not from the table, right? This is how we can already distinguish, okay, it is coming from table or it's not coming from the table also. And then I ask the same question with the vector query engine. What are the risk factors for Tesla? And it provides the answer for me. And if you see the node ID is exactly the same. So 96B52, this one, if you see on the last, there is this 927, 927. So it is getting the information from the same node but as you can see, this is LLMs, so answer will not be the same each time, but similar, right? So if you just compare this sentence and uh, this sentence, but this paragraph and this paragraph, you can see that it, if it is providing the risk factors for Tesla, but it's not exactly the same. But we get the answer, meaning that what I want to show you here is if you are asking the questions where it is not going through the table part, you can get the answer already from the knowledge base. So yeah, this is quite fascinating and I am exploring different RAG implementations. I hope you get some insights out of it. And now you can quickly go into Llama index and then start querying your STM files where 
because is, as you can see here, this STM file is quite big, right? So it has many informations here and getting the answer correctly from these huge files is quite challenging. And with the help of Onistructured, I am really enjoying creating videos of Onistructured. This is actually, let's say, revolutionizing the rag implementations in a way or another. There might be some other things also popping off here and there, but yeah, things are evolving and it's good to explore new things as it happens. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something new. Yeah, if you have PDF files, just go with the LangChain part I showed you in the last video. If you are working with STM files, go with the Lama index or there might be some other implementers also you can find. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.